from Paris Mountain State Park in Greenville, South Carolina. I'm Ranger Kathy Taylor, and I'm here today with Maya Zagel and her daughter, Christina. Normally, Ms. Zagel and I would be leading school programs today at the park, and Christina would be in school. Maybe you've been to Paris Mountain State Park or one of the many other South Carolina state parks that offer Discover Carolina school programs in the past. Maybe as a student, as a teacher, maybe as a parent chaperone. Well, since school is out due to the coronavirus, we thought we'd give you a chance to see what you might see and do if you came on a field trip. I have often found that it's comforting, at least for me, to know that no matter what's going on in my life or in the lives of people in general, uh, nature's still going about what it does, responding to the seasons and taking care of the basic needs of survival. Well, when we see second graders at Paris Mountain State Park, they study life cycles. And isn't springtime a great time to be studying life cycles? So right behind me, we have the Carolina jasmine flowers blooming. Uh, it's called jessamine, so you may call it that, with J-E-S-S-A-M-I-N-E. -S -S -E. We have this life cycle going on with the flowers, which will make seeds, which will make more flowering plants of the Carolina jasmine. We have the geese over here that you may have noticed, mother and father goose. She was on her nest earlier. She's taking a little break right now from her nest. And uh, I don't know what they're saying, but uh, you know that's something that we see for about a month during uh, end of March to around, around Earth Day each year. We see um, the mother goose on her nest followed by goslings. So we have life cycles everywhere. Now, before we uh, met up with you this morning, we collected in the lake. We were using nets and buckets and all and finding what animals were here. We found some interesting ones I'd like to show you. I'm gonna walk over this way. Well, let's see what we found. I put them in some white dishes so you can see them a little bit better. First little dish has some animals you might recognize from the lake here. What have we got? Tadpoles, that's right. And what are they gonna turn into? Frogs. So we know that some frogs have been laying eggs here in the lake, and those eggs have hatched, and we have tadpoles, and they will become frogs in the lake. We also know that some toads have been laying eggs, so we're going to have some that'll go live in the forest one day. But that's one of the many life cycles that goes on and that uses the process of metamorphosis to do that. Now we have another dish with some little animals in it. These are well, there is an aquatic worm somewhere there, but we also have a couple baby insects. We have a damselfly nymph and a dragonfly nymph. You might notice the damselfly nymph has, is a bit of a skinnier body than the dragonfly nymph. When I say nymph, that's a baby dragonfly. So we know that adult dragonflies zoom around over the water and lay eggs, which hatch to become the nymphs, which will become adult dragonflies one day as the life cycle continues. So we have another dish over this way with, uh, what have we got? These are fish. And so we have, looks like three little mosquito fish, three different sizes. So some are older than others, as we can see. And um, just some of the many animals we can look forward to seeing this spring. And as we explore wherever you are, now, if you look out a little farther out, you'll notice, I don't know if you can see, but we do have a lot of turtles. I don't even know how many. A bunch of turtles out on a log, uh, trying to get a little bit of sun and comfort today. So that's always a fun part of being out here and seeing the turtles. Doesn't everybody like turtles, I think? Well, I hope that wherever you are today, that... During this time of social distancing, you'll have a chance to explore the outdoors a little bit, even from nearby, see what's going on with springtime. It's a wonderful time, and isn't nature amazing? Thank you.